Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So it took Canelo Alvarez less than one hour to change everything he said about why he lost this fight to Bivol. From the immediate post-fight interview in the ring to what Canelo Alvarez said at the press conference, like less than an hour after that was night and day. In a post-fight interview with DAZN, Canelo Alvarez continuously said, no excuses, the better man won, I'm not gonna take any credit away from his win, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, let me go ahead and play the clip of what Canelo Alvarez said at the actual post-fight press conference. Canelo, buenas noches. Oye, en no, mira, la verdad es que me siento muy bien. Yo, en lo personal, no pongo ninguna excusa. Eh, creo que no perdí la pelea. Creo que me ganó cuatro, cinco rounds máximo. Eh, los últimos rounds me fatigué un poco, eh, eh, pero obviamente me siento bien. Yo que hice las cosas como tenía que hacerlas y, 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 y me siento bien, me siento bien. Vamos a ver, vamos a, a ir y pensar qué es lo que vamos a hacer, pero me siento bien. No, no creo que, que perdí la pelea, como te digo. Eh, perdí algunos rounds, en los últimos rounds me fatigué un poco. Creo que por el peso, quizás, eh, no me sentía al 100%. So the question was, um, well, obviously we, you, you were lost to Floyd Mayweather, but looking at this fight that you took, that many um, people in this division that you, you fought at tonight didn't want anything to do with, um, can you tell us your feelings and what's next for you? So, and the answer, and I was, so personally, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm not giving any, excuse, any excuses. I do feel like I won the fight. Um, I think perhaps, you know, maybe I lost four or five rounds, but I definitely didn't lose the fight. Um, I think I got a little bit tired towards, the, you know, the final round, but it felt good. Um, so we'll see what's next. As I say, I don't feel like I lost the fight. Maybe some rounds. Um, maybe the, you know, the way it was, it was like it should have made my feet come on the side. How do you feel about the punctuation? No, as I said, I think I won five or six rounds at the maximum. Eh, a los, eh, el último round me sentí un poco cansado, quizás por el peso. Eh, necesito ir a ver bien la pelea, obviamente, que es lo que, lo que tuve que hacer mejor, pero como te digo, eh, creo que en lo, en lo personal perdí cuatro o cinco rounds. Así. So the question was, um, can you tell us a little bit about what you feel about the fight and, and, and you know, the way it was scored? Um, and Kel's answer was, well, I think, as I said, four or five rounds, I feel like he, he won maximum. Um, I felt a little bit fatigued uh, going into those final rounds. Perhaps it was because of the weight, but you know, I personally, I feel, as I say, that he only won four or five rounds. The better man won. Tyson Fury was a better fighter. I'll be back. No excuses. Why bring up? Why bring up the weight? Why does he have people around him to say, Deontay, hold your head high. You fought your ass off. You damn near won that fight. Let's not say the wrong thing. Yeah. Why not just say the better man won? Tyson Fury was the better fighter. I'll be back. No excuses. Why bring up? Why bring up the weight? Why does he have people around him to say, Deontay, hold your head high. You fought your ass off. You damn near won that fight. I'm trying to figure out who said that. Who who told him keep his head high and he damn near won the fight? I'm trying I'm trying to figure that out. All right, so that clip you just heard right there, that was from a DAZN podcast. That was Ox speaking. He was the one talking about excuses and let's not say the wrong things, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The guy that was responding to him towards the end of that clip. That was Team Wilder, that was Tay Jones. He was making the point that Deontay Wilder had never even made any excuses when he lost to Tyson Fury in this third fight. But yet, this guy, Ock, he was passionately going out of his way to shoot down any hints of an excuse. 
when it came to Tyson Fury's win over Wilder. Listen, if this was just some guy saying this on the internet, saying it on YouTube, I would have never even listened to them saying it. I would have never even pointed this out. But the fact that once again, what this guy says is pretty much a reflection of DAZN because he works for DAZN. Now and I ask the question, since they say on this DAZN show, they're doing it for the culture and all this kind of stuff. Are you going to now show the same energy and passionately come out and shoot down any notions of an excuse for why Canelo Alvarez lost to Dimitri Bivol like he did when it came to Wilder losing to Tyson Fury? Is he going to come out and tell all of these reporters that start making this size excuse for Canelo? Is he going to say this to Canelo Alvarez? Is he going to tell these people not to say the wrong thing? And once again, is he going to do it with the exact same passion that he showed in defense of Tyson Fury? Let's see if he does. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. And how does this change your life, man? Okay. It's so good. It's so good. I feel younger. I look younger. Uh, I'm up the young girl. <laughs> I just didn't scratch that, but it's been good. It's been good. I like the look. I like the feel. Uh, I feel more confident now. Now, in terms of the response, what has been people said like as um, as people being like, "Hey, you know, what do you have in your head?" or things like uh, that. Sort? The most response I get is like, "Yo, what bar we go to? Why they get you know such a close shave with you know everything lined up so sharp and everything?" And you know, then I go into explain it to them the procedure, go to and everything. And you know, they always like, "I would never go on it." Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram.